Hello, welcome to my closet. I wanted to say closet in different languages, but I realized I don't know any other words for closet. So, welcome to my closet. As you can see, I have a fair amount of clothes. I got the jeans, I got the pants, I got the shirts, I got the sweatshirts. I have a good amount of clothes. Now, I don't know about you guys, but my dog's crying, he's sick. I don't know about you guys, but I don't wear half my clothes. I tend to wear the same thing every day and I'm trying to push myself because I was thinking, oh, I wanna buy new clothes. No, that is not eco-friendly. So I was thinking I should just go through my closet and try on a bunch of outfits that I wouldn't normally pick. And hopefully I can inspire you guys to do the same with your closet and also give you guys some outfit inspiration if you want it. So everything that I know is like fine, I'm gonna put that aside. And then everything that I find like ugly or like not so fun anymore, I'm going to put that to the other side. So let's do that first. Ooh, I feel like I'm already finding so many things that I thought that I would never wear that I actually should wear because they're really cute. So I feel like I'm gonna discover a lot about my closet. Oh, I just broke a hanger. I feel like I'm gonna discover a lot about my closet that I didn't know before, so. Okay, now I need to do my pants. Don't wear these. Don't wear these, don't wear these, I don't wear these. Okay, I think I have my pile fully done. Should I do shoes? Yes. I legitimately only wear one pair of shoes and it's my white sneakers. So I'm not gonna let myself choose my white sneakers for any of the outfits. And I'm just gonna choose the ones that I have in here. So I have all my clothes and I also have my, my crafty boxes. I have had stuff for years that I could theoretically, oh look, a, a water polo swimsuit. It doesn't matter what I have. I just have regular crafty stuff. So in case I wanna do anything, I don't know what I can do, but I do have it. So, and now I'm going to kind of separate everything into categories so I can be a little bit more organized. Oh, I do have wide pants, good to know. Who knows, my F around and make those into shorts. And now for my taps, I'm not gonna lay them on the ground because there's not nearly enough room, but I'm gonna try. <sighs> this is a lot of work. This is a lot of work. So I have this black skirt. It looks like this. And it's pretty long and it's pretty cute. I'm gonna do this with a fitted t-shirt. Too bad I don't own really any of those. This could look good if I like tie it perhaps. So we're just gonna put that with this for now. Get it out of the way. Let's try that. Goodbye. Um, what about these pants? These are some more pants that I never wear, partially because, ooh, I just had a vision. I never wear these pants because the pants are really, the legs are really wide if you can see that. So I think I'm gonna cut these into shorts. When I DIY things, guys, I tend to just go for it. Some people would say, oh, Danny, shouldn't you measure? Shouldn't you think? Maybe make some marks or something? No. I tend to just make the first cut and then try it on and go from there. Okay, moving the hell on because I don't want to think about what I just did. Let's do something interesting with my leopard skirt. Oh, let's try this skirt with my black long sleeve shirt. We're gonna try that. Get it running out of places to chuck these outfits. I'm frustrated, I'm very frustrated. Okay guys, I'm gonna come back to you when all my outfits are done because I can't do this anymore. Hi, it's voice over me. It's me, but better. Not really. Here's my first outfit. I really like this one. It's really simple. I've honestly been wanting to try this for a while. It's just my leopard skirt and a black long sleeve shirt. Okay, moving on. I've really wanted to try incorporating more midi skirts into outfits because I have a lot that I never wear. So this is my black one and I literally just took a basic t-shirt. It's honestly really crappy, but it's all I had. 
Okay, here are my shorts that I cut. I don't really know how I feel about these. We don't need to talk about it, but I think the outfit turned out pretty good. I also stole my husband's denim jacket, so that's pretty cool if you ask me. Um, I'm making that face because I don't know how I feel about this outfit, but it's fine. Oh my gosh, okay, I love this one. So this top is actually a dress that I cut the skirt off of today. So <laughs> DIY queen, and I'm just showing you that you get maximum dexterity and freedom of motion in this look. So you can always be comfortable. <laughs> oh God, Danny, please stop. This is me realizing I really don't know how to do this dance. Okay, um, here's another look. I really don't know how to feel. I basically took a t-shirt and I cut it down the middle and I put ribbons on it and tied it in the front and it came out fine, but I honestly don't know if I'll ever wear this again, but I put this look on just to show you guys my shorts that I cut. Cause honestly, I really like these denim shorts and I feel like with the right top, it would look really nice, but I was limited on resources today, okay? I was just trying to show off my shorts. And there's me losing my mind. Oh my god. Okay, this top is actually from a t-shirt that I hated with a burning passion. I thought it was so ugly for some reason. So I literally just like slid it down and then like glued in the sleeves and cut them off and I was good to go. Okay guys, I'm not gonna explain these last looks cause they're very straightforward. Um, I just wanna say I didn't film an outro for this video because I didn't feel like it. So I hope this inspired you guys to go through your closet instead of buying something new. And if you do go through your own closet, definitely send me a pic, a vid, uh, a snap, a chat, uh, a text, a wink, whatever you want. And let me know because I wanna know. Guys, it is 12.40 in the morning. That is why I sound crazy, so I'm sorry. Good night, everyone. Subscribe. Goodbye.